Hello guys, welcome to another project video by Project Maker. In this video, we will be exploring about AI. Every day, AI is improving itself by launching new products from Google, from Microsoft or from any other company. In this video, we will be exploring Gemini, which is the most capable model from Google. Before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first. Now. Let's move to the computer screen and explore about Gemini model and how we can use Gemini API in our project. As you can see, I have already opened DeepMind website of Google which is related to the Gemini and it has the introducing text of Welcome to Gemini era. Now let's explore more about this model. So just looking to the capabilities. As you can see, the capability of ChatGPT 4 is around 86.4% to identify human language and process it. And the capacity of human itself to identify their language is around 89.8% but the capability of Gemini is around 90% which is greater than human. So we can say Gemini is better than humans in its first version. So this is the power of AI. Now let's explore the project that I have created using Gemini Pro API. So this is a basic project of Gemini TechSpot that I have hosted for my local host using Streamlit app as you can see. So this is simple title and the input text as well as the submit button. So it's just like a chatbot. So I can just tell that for your month flowers and just click on this submit button. So it's running as you can see. So as you can see within few seconds the answer is in front of us. So the answer is like in a garden of vibrant hues where colors, views and fragrance brew, blooms of beauty, delicate and fair, the flower and so on. So it has generated a amazing poem within seconds. We can also take some information from Gemini such as Let's say Man Zuckerberg. I don't know the spelling. Let's check whether it's right or not. So Google has auto corrected it. Now let's click on the same button. So let's wait whether it gives appropriate answer or not. So as you can see, Mark Zuckerberg is an American media mandate, internet entrepreneur and philanthropist and all information about Zuckerberg starting from his birth till his current achievements as you can see or let's see the facts also the structure that is written by Gemini bot is awesome as you can see now let's explore how you can create this end-to-end -end project within just 10 to 15 lines of code so let's move to the destination folder as you can see I have opened my destination folder and this is my version and environment this is the .env file where my api key is stored this is the gemini chat application that is running currently and this is a gemini image bot that we will be exploring next video and this is the requirement.txt file so this was all about the destination folder now let's open this folder in vs code now before moving to the program let's explore the requirements of this program so the requirements are Streamlit, Google Generative AI package and python.net. So this .net package will help me to fetch API key from that .env file. So let's move to the main program. Now let's begin exploration of the program. So I will just maximize the screen for you. Okay. Now the first line is API key website. So from this website you will get your API. So I will just go to this website in front of you so this is the website from where you can get the API so this is the price to help you bring your app to the world just scroll down and this is the button to get API and after clicking that get API button this window opens in front of you you have to just click here and get API key and after that you have to simply create create API key in your project after getting the API, just copy the API and keep it with you. So let's move to the program. 
the next line is dot dnv input load data in so it is responsible for loading on environment variables so in the program i have only one environment variable which is api key that i have stored in dot env file my env file contains are only this much so api underscore key and i have just pasted the api key here after that i have imported streamlit imported os and imported the main package which is google dot generative ai as ai after that i have configured the api key using this count which is ai dot configure api key equal to os dot get env and api key so it will get api key from there after that i have loaded the model as you can see using ai dot generative model and i have used gemini pro so this Gemini Pro model is only suitable for dealing with textual data that I have just demonstrated. Now let's move ahead. Function to load Gemini Pro model and return response. So I have simply created a function which takes a user input or the query and after that I have simply stored the answer in this response variable and I have written here at model.generateContent so this is the method of model and just passed here query this query will go to the Gemini model it will take response in JSON format after that the answer will get stored in this response variable and after getting the response this function simply return response.txt so this was simple requesting the model and getting the response after that I have simply written few lines to create a basic UI using the following command which is st.setPageConfig this command specifically sets the information related to page so the title of web page will, is given the name Gemini bot and the logo as you can see or emoji after that st.setHeader so the this is this type of information so this is the header of our program after that input st.text input and I simply turn here input that's why here input has occurred and key equal to input and the next is submit button which is created using st.button function and the text that should be displayed on the button which is this text as you can see after that uh, the last three lines are if submit which means if submit button is clicked it will simply send the input to the Gemini response method which is this method Gemini response method will send it to the Gemini model and it will simply return the response and we will get the response dot text so after getting the response dot text which means the textual data i have simply printed the text data on the screen using the command which is st dot write and passed here as response that's why this type of data is coming so that was all about today's short video related to gemini pro api key in next video we will be seeing how we can deal with images using Gemini Pro Vision model. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. And if you face any queries or difficulties while running this program, you can simply message me on Instagram or in comment section. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.